Hi everyone, it's E and welcome back to Seven Edition channel. Today I'm coming with a new tutorial and I made this Tom's costume. So in this first part, I will show you how I made the jumpsuit. So let's get started. So let's start by making our foundation chain using the dark gray. So to know how uh, much you want to chain, first uh, take uh, the chest for kids and the under bust for the adult size and divide it by two. Then to know how much you want to work with the dark gray, then uh, divide your half of your chest or under bust by seven so for me um, the half of my chest is equal to 9.5 i will divide it by seven and i will get 1.3 that's mean i will make a chain equal to the 1.3 inches so let's start by making a slip knot and a chain of 1.3 inches so i'm done with uh, my first part of the dark gray and now i have to take the mushroom color or the light uh, gray whatever that you choose to make this project and attach to this chain then from there i have to continue making chains so until you reach the half of the chest minus the dark gray by two this this piece you uh, multiply it by two so for me 9.5 inches minus 2.6 inches it's equal to seven inch so i will continue making chains until um until um my entire chain uh measures seven inches okay and um you have uh to uh, to uh count also the number of this chain the dark uh, gray so you can repeat it to the other side okay so I will meet you back when I finish this chain. Okay, I'm back. So I reached my desired lens and now let's take the other ball of the dark gray and attach it again to the side. Chain one to secure and pull the yarn. Then I will make an equal number of chains as the first part. For me, it was nine. Okay, for row one, I will chain one. And we are going to work with an easy stitch. It's just a single crochet, okay, for the entire project. So to make a single crochet, insert your hook in the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through one loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all two. Again, let's make one together, insert in the next chain, yarn over and pull through one loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops.
Okay, so I reached uh, the other color, the mushroom. And now all you have to do is just to leave the dark gray and to take the new color. So insert in the next chain and make a single crochet. So all you have to do is just to keep repeating this stitch and when you reach uh, this uh, point just switch to the dark gray. Okay I'm back and uh, I finished my first row and now we are going to start by making row 2 and just make sure that this second part it was equal to, uh, in number of chains for the first part so you will not have any unbalance okay so for row 2 chain 1 and turn and let's make a, also a single crochet row so insert the hook in the first chain in the first stitch yarn over and pull through one yarn over and pull through two loops again insert in the next stitch and make another single crochets until you hit the mushroom color Okay, so I'm at the mushroom section. I just have to switch to that next color and insert in the next one. And now all you have to do is just to keep repeating row 2 until um, you reach the length of the blouse minus 2 inch minus the armhole depth for kids. And the, the length of the blouse uh, is in uh, the charts um, collection <laughs> in my Pinterest account. And uh, this is uh, as a uh, this is a reference that we are working uh, right now. Okay, this is the only reference. So uh, for women, the equation is uh, to take the length of the blouse minus three inch minus the armhole depth, or you can measure the length from your shoulder until your navel point, and you reduce uh, from that the armhole depth and please when measuring don't curve the tape measure towards the, your navel but keep it aligned okay if um, so you can instead uh, to, if you don't want to take the length of the blouse you just take from the, take the tape measure and you measure uh, from the shoulder to the navel point then you reduce from it the armhole depth. Um, so let's. Um, I will make it the other rows. Okay, and when I finish, I will meet you back um, to work on our second part. Okay, I just want to show you a trick. Um, I'm right now uh, at the middle, and I want to switch to the second color. It might look that you have to switch to the second color and uh, this one it's not a stitch okay but actually it's a stitch but it happened uh, due to the switching between two colors so all you have to keep in your mind it's just to repeat counting the number of stitches and it must be equal the same 
uh, each time um, each row for me it was nine so it must stay nine so I should not skip this one little stitch okay this is a hidden stitch so this is nine single crochet and then you switch to the other color also don't forget that you have to repeat the same for the other side okay so keep counting the number of stitches to prevent any mistake one more thing i should uh, to mention is to count the number of your rows while working uh, because we are going to make the back panel and they should be equal in the number of rows. I want to give you a tip how to work on this project to prevent any entanglement because you are working with a multiple of yarns within one piece. So, suppose, uh, okay, I'm here now and I want to turn my work to uh, start a new row so all you have to do is to turn it like this okay I finished my row working in this direction and now I have to come back so I'm here right now so now I have to turn it back but instead of flipping in this way all you have to do is just to flip back like this so your yarns this is still the same while starting a new row don't turn twisting like this in the same direction just come back to the original um, original state Okay, so I'm done with my first part and I have reached my desired lens and now um, we are going to start by um, shaping the arm horn and I placed a marker to the side so let's chain one and turn so to make that shaping we are going to decrease from each side of our work so, the, for making a single crochet decrease, insert in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through one. Insert in the second stitch, yarn over and pull through one. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Okay? So, uh, for me, um, I'm working uh, nine stitches with a dark uh, gray. So I still have uh, to make right now seven stitches. So in total it's eight because the more I'm growing with rows, um, the more uh, now I'm losing one stitch with each row. So this is two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don't forget this middle stitch. Now let's switch to the next color. And continue. And I will meet you once I'm at the end of my uh, row, once I'm left with two stitches. Okay, I'm back and uh, I'm at the end of uh, my row. So let's make decrease two in the last two stitches. So insert yarn over and pull through one. Insert in the next or last stitch yarn over and pull through one yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook chain one and turn and now you have to repeat this row of decreasing two from each side 
until you will reach until the width uh, of your decrease rows reach um, one inch for size zero to six and 1.25 for size seven to eight and 1.50 for size uh, 9 to 12 and 1.75 for now and now for the adult sizes 1.75 inches for size x small and 2 inches for small 2.25 for medium 2.50 for large and 2.75 for uh, extra large and please don't forget to count the number of rows so you, we can repeat the same for the back panel. Okay, so I'm done with my second part and I have reached from this point to this point one inch. So let's work on our third part. And uh, I also placed a marker just to separate the second from the third part. So for the third part, uh, oh, and when uh, I attach a stitch marker also to the middle of my work, if you look to Tom's body, you will notice there is a little heart, okay? So we are going to shape it right now. So let's chain one and turn. And uh, I end up uh, by making four stitches in uh, the, with the dark uh, gray. So now I have to do four also. So one, two, three and four usually I have to switch to that color but now we are going to start increasing with the dark gray so I will put one more dark gray in the mushroom color and then switch back Okay, keep, the, keep working with this color until you reach the middle uh, stitch marker. So when you reach that stitch marker, just remove it and attach the new ball of the dark gray. And then chain one to secure and make two single crochet and so one single crochet and then one in the next and place again the marker to, to the first stitch and with the second ball of the mushroom Let's attach the yarn again, chain one, secure, and continue making single crochet. Okay. So you continue until you reach one stitch before the dark gray. I'm one stitch before the dark gray, so I will switch back to the dark gray and make one single crochet. And one single crochet into each stitch okay so for the next row it's going uh, to be without any increase uh, with the dark gray uh, i mean by that that uh, where uh, where there is a dark uh, gray um, color you will put a uh, on top of it um, a dark gray stitch and where is a, 
a mushroom you will put uh, a mushroom color and uh, don't forget these two stitches are made with uh, dark gray and so on so i will meet you back when i have to make another increase okay so i'm back and uh, i'm going to do the third row so so let's chain one and turn and um, it's always tricky uh, because I already made the uh, five uh, single crochet with the dark like uh, dark gray and it show me right now I made just four okay so uh, the best way it's just to um, uh, ju just uh, to remember the numbers uh, of your stitches okay so for me I have to do now um, I made already five now I have to add one more okay so this is one and two three four five and I have to add one more Okay, so let's switch to the next color until you reach the middle. Okay, so I'm back and I'm one stitch before uh, the middle dark uh, gray. So all you have to do is just to switch to the next color and then you put two stitches on top of the previous dart gray Okay, and now you add one more single crochet to the next part, okay? So when you reach the middle, you have to add one single crochet from this part and one single crochet from this part. Okay, you add the, the dark and now let's switch back okay So for this uh, section of uh, dark gray, I have to make six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. okay and uh, now all you have to do is just to keep uh, alternating between these two last rows uh, a row of uh, increasing uh, one stitch from this side and this side and uh, one uh, single crochet from this part and one single crochet from this part and a row without any increase okay so keep alternating between these last two rows until uh, the uh, dark uh, gray cover all the mushroom colors so you will have a small shape of uh, heart okay and the most important thing is to count the number of your rows okay so I'm done and I cut it all the other yarns and I left just one to the side and uh, now we are going to work on the shoulder shape so I'm left 
uh, two uh, with uh, two inches until I reach my desired length of the stop. So um, to make um, these uh, shoulders, I placed also two marker on top of uh, these two points. Uh, so to mark the width of my shoulder uh, also you have to leave the same number of stitches from each side so for row one let's chain one and let's decrease two in the beginning of the row and then put one single crochet into each stitch until you reach one stitch before the marker so I'm at one stitch before the marker let's decrease two again okay you can now remove the stitch marker for row two chain one and turn and this is a row without any decrease just put one single crochet into each stitch and now for the row three uh, so row 3 is without decrease also row 4 uh, you have to decrease 2 from each side and uh, from row 4 uh, you have to decrease into each fourth that's mean uh, for row 5 6 7 are without decrease and for row 8 you have to decrease okay so and so on so you have to decrease into each fourth row okay until um, you are left with uh, three uh, stitches okay so I will meet you back when I reach this point I'm at uh, my last row uh, row 12 so I'm left only with three stitches and this is a row of uh, decrease so let's chain one and turn and um, because I'm left only with three stitches so let's make a decrease three single crochet so insert in the first stitch yarn over pulse one insert in the second yarn over pulse two insert in the third yarn over and pulse one you have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all loops chain one cut and fasten off for the second one the the shoulder uh it's made exactly the same as this but we have to start uh at the marker stitch okay so remove the stitch marker attach your yarn chain one so for row one chain one and in the same stitch that you attach your yarn uh, let's make decrease two okay decrease two single crochet and then one single crochet into each stitch until you are left with until you reach the uh, last two okay I'm in the last two let's make another decrease to single crochet chain one and turn and uh, you have to continue making the same number of rows that you have done for this first shoulder okay so for row uh, two and three you don't uh, decrease for uh, row four you decrease two from each side and then uh, from there uh, you have to uh, row five six seven are without decrease eight you decrease so you have to decrease from the uh, each fourth row okay now working on our back panel uh, we have to make a chain uh, equal to the front panel divided by two because the back panel is made 
it's uh, it's uh, divided into two okay so let's make a chain for me I've done a 48 uh, chain for the front panel so for the back panel uh, I will do uh, 24 okay so working on the first row let's chain one and put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one single crochet into each chain across okay so i will meet you back to make the second row okay for row two let's chain one and turn and just make another single crochet row into each stitch across and now all you have to do is just to repeat row two a single crochet row until you will have the same number of rows made for the first part okay from this point to this point before the armhole shape so for me it was 34 rows so i will meet you back when i will make my rows okay so i'm back and um now we are going to work on the armhole shape so as you remember uh, on the front panel uh, we uh, have done decrease two in the beginning of uh, each row and uh, in the uh, and at the end of each row but now because uh, this is uh, the back it's split in two all you have to do is just to make a decrease from one part so let's chain one turn and decrease two and then make one single crochet into each stitch across okay i'm back for our second row let's chain one and turn and put one single crochet into each stitch and leave the last two stitches where we have to decrease okay i'm back and uh, i still have the last two stitches so let's make a decrease to single crochet and now all you have to do is just to alternate between the first row where you have to decrease in the beginning of the row and the second row where you have to decrease in the end of the row because we are just uh, making uh, this shape uh, from one side okay so you have to keep alternating between these two rows until you reach the same number of rows made uh, for the arm hole uh, of the front panel so for me i made uh, here from here to here five rows now i have also to repeat the same number of rows so when I'm done, I will meet you back to do the third part. Okay, so for part three, it's very easy. Uh, you only have to make single crochet rows without any decrease or increase. And uh, just look how many uh, rows you have done for the front panel and repeat the same number for me it was nine rows no, now i have to uh, to make nine rows and um, i will meet you back to make the shoulder shape okay so i'm back and now i'm going to shape uh, my shoulder so I placed uh, a marker uh, similar uh, to this part so I left from here a uh, 9 stitch and here from the uh, this point 
from the, si the side to this uh, side I left also nine stitches okay so chain one and turn and let's decrease two in the first two stitches and then make one single crochet until you reach the last one stitch before the marker okay so let's make two decrease in the last two we need the marker and for the next row chain one and it's just a normal single crochet without any decrease and from um, now the third row it's also a single crochet uh, for row four you have to decrease from both sides uh, two single crochet for row five six and seven uh, are made without any decrease for row eight you decrease and that's mean for uh, from row four and uh, so on you have to decrease into each fourth and now you have to repeat this uh, back panel one more time for the second part okay it's made exactly the same okay now we are going to make the side seam uh, and make sure that the front panel, uh, the fastening off side is facing down and uh, the fastening off of the, the fastening off side of the back panel is facing up. So bring your darning needle and let's uh, seam both sides together taking one loop from the back panel and one loop from the front panel make a knot and then continue sewing um, taking one loop from the back and one loop from the front okay so um, continue this until here when you arrive at this point cut and fasten off and make the same thing for the next back panel also let's connect both uh, shoulders together in the same way as the sides here make a knot cut and fasten off and make also the second one okay so as you see I already uh, done with my first sleeve and I will work with you the second one okay so let's take the dark gray and attach to the line of the seam And then chain one, okay. And before you have to attach two stitch marker, okay. So you have to attach the first one to uh, the second part, um, uh, to the third part before the shoulder portion. A row okay and you have to attach from behind also a marker to uh, the row before the shoulder portion so 
um, for me it was uh, the second part was five rows the second one the second part was nine so I have attached uh, on the 14 okay and I left the shoulder portion it was 12 from each side and now for row one let's chain one and in the same stitch let's make one single crochet Okay, and make one single crochet into each row. And I will meet you back when you hit the marker, the first row of the shoulder portion. Okay, I'm back and I'm in my first uh, row of the shoulder portion, so Let's remove the marker and we are going to work half double crochet. So to make a half double crochet yarn over, insert in that row, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Again, place the marker on, that, on top of the first half double and continue making one half double crochet into each row okay until you hit again the second stitch marker on the front panel okay so i'm back and i just want to give you a, an advice is to always count the number of your stitches in uh, made in each row so you uh, so you will have an, an equal number of sleeves okay uh, is uh, so for me I made uh, 24 rows uh, 12 from each side for the shoulder portion that's mean I have uh, to put 24 half double crochet okay and now I'm back and uh, I'm on the second stitch marker and now I have to make again one single crochet into each row and for me I have in total 14 rows until I will reach the middle line again so this is one two three okay. and so on and at the end I will meet you back to join okay I'm back and let's join the end with one slip stitch in that chain one okay and for the second round um, let's chain one and place a marker to that chain one to, be, uh, to mark the beginning of each row and now all you have to do is just to repeat round one it, uh, to put one single crochet on top of a single crochet and when you reach the marker switch to the half double crochet and again make another single crochet and when you uh, reach the end join with a slip stitch and you have to repeat round two until you reach the length of your sleeve divided uh, by six so for me 9.50 divided by six is equal to 1.5 inch and if you don't know the, uh, the length of your sleeve measurements uh, the, uh, the, this chart is also included in my collect of in my charts collection on Pinterest, and um, so I will meet you back when I will do 
uh, the 1.5 inches and also write down how many rows uh, you, you, ha you, are, you are doing for this part. Uh, for me it was 8 rows so I will do 8 and I will meet you back to do it our uh, second part of the sleeve. I'm back so let's do the second part. For the second part it's very simple. All you have to do is just to put one single crochet into each stitch uh, and into each single crochet and into each half double crochet. So there is no need for these two stitch markers. And let's chain one and place a marker to for to mark the beginning of each row. And let's put one single crochet all around. So all you have to do is just to um, repeat uh, this round until uh, you will make the same number of rows made for part one. Okay, so for me it was eight rows and now I will make uh, eight uh, rounds uh, just putting one single crochet into each stitch and when you reach the end slip slip stitch to the first chain and um, that's it okay i'm back and uh, for the third part of our uh, sleeve we are going to start to decrease so chain one and attach that marker to the first chain and uh, let's make one single crochet into in next three stitches and then in the fourth let's make decrease two so insert yarn over and pull through insert in the next stitch yarn over and pull through one you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three okay so this is the sequence you um, for all the row you make let's make it one more time one single crochet in next three stitches and then you make one dec uh, decrease two single crochet okay and next two stitches so um, for the next round okay so when when you end this round uh, you join uh, with a slip stitch. For round two, uh, you put one single crochet into each stitch. For round two, three, and four, you for round two, three, and four, you put one uh, single crochet in each stitch. And for round five, you repeat the decreasing row, similar to round one. And uh, from there, uh, you repeat round two, three, four, and five until the width of your sleeve reach the wrist measurement uh, so it will be able to enter your enter your hands so um, i have stopped because uh, my uh, the width of my sleeve has reached uh, the wrist circumference I divided by two. My wrist circumference for a size one year it's five inch. So the width it's already 2.5 inches. So I have to stop and from now I have just to continue making a single crochet rows without any decrease until I reach uh, the desired length of my sleeve and I will leave the um, last few rows uh, to switch to the color white okay so I will need to back to attach the white and work the last rows um, with uh, the color white so I'm on I almost reached the length of my sleeve and now 
So let's work uh, the last few rows with the white yarn. Let's attach the yarn. Chain one. And cut your gray color and then let's work um, one single continue one single crochet into each stitch okay so also keep in mind to make the same number uh, of uh, rounds for both sleeves. And now let's work on the neckline. So grab your gray color and attach the yarn to the back panel. Chain one to secure. Chain one again. And let's put one single crochet into each stitch. And into each row here. and into each row on the front panel And then one single crochet in the front panel on top of each stitch. So I made with you the first side. For the second side it's made also the same where you have to put one single crochet into each row and into each stitch. So I finished my first row. For the second row, chain one turn and uh, you have to put one single crochet into each stitch all around. Now all you have to do is just to keep repeating row two, a single crochet rows, until you reach your desired lens for your colors so it's up to you uh, how much rows you have to make so I'm done with my color and uh, for me I find it's enough so now we are going to work on the bottom uh, portion and uh, for the pants so grab your gray color and uh, attach to the side on the front panel, chain one and chain one again and let's make one single crochet into each stitch
So when you finish your gray section and you arrive to the mushroom section, just put one more single crochet in that mushroom color. Now, let's grab your mushroom color and attach to the original one and continue making single crochets. So now we are going to shape the okay, so keep doing a uh, single crochets until you reach uh, the gray section again. So I'm left with one stitch of the mushroom color and I will work it with a gray. So grab the second bow of your gray and attach and then make one single crochet. And one single crochet into each stitch. Okay, so keep repeating this until you reach um, this point when you finish the first, when you finish the front panel. For row two, chain one and turn and put one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the mushroom color. So now switch and put one single crochet into each stitch until you reach again the gray section so I have reached the gray section so let's switch to the next color So now all you have to do is just to keep alternating between row 1 and row 2 until you reach the length of your pants divided by 3. So for me the length of my pants is 19 so divided by 3 it's got 6.3 so I will keep repeating uh, these two rows until I will reach 6.3. I want to just to remind you to not forget to count the number of your rows so you can make the same number for the back panel. So I'm done with shaping my middle but I didn't yet reach uh, my desired length for the rise uh, so now I cut it my um, mushroom color in the, the gray color and I still um, I'm still working with one bow of gray and now all I have to do is just to keep repeating single crochet rows until I reach my desired length or pants uh, length divided by three so I will make a few rows and I will see you again when I finish Okay, so I finished my rise and now we are going to work on the leg. For that, you have to divide your work into 
uh, equal uh, two equal parts and uh, place a marker in the middle and now let's chain one and make one single crochet into each stitch until you hit the stitch marker so I finished my first row and I reached the marker so now I can remove it you don't need it anymore and for row 2 it's going to be A single crochet row so chain one and turn just make one single crochet into each stitch across okay so from here all you have to do is just to keep repeating uh, row two until uh, your leg uh, reach number y so to know to know number y you have to follow this equation you take the number uh, of the rise and you divide it by four and you will get number x then you take the rise and you reduce from it number x and you will get number y so for me, number y is equal to 4.8. So now I will keep repeating um, single crochet rows from this point to this point, from the side to the middle, until um, this the leg only reach uh, number y. As always, also don't forget to uh, count and um, write down the number of your rows so you can repeat uh, the same number for the next leg and for the back panel so I'm done with my first uh, part of the leg and now for part two we are going to decrease one stitch from each side in the beginning and the end of the row so let's chain one and make a decrease two so insert in the first stitch yarn over and pull one insert in the next stitch yarn over and pull one you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and then make one single crochet into each stitch until you are left with two stitches so I'm uh, at the last two stitches so let's make another decrease so insert yarn over and pull through one insert in the next stitch yarn over and pull through one three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three so now for the next row chain one turn and uh, it's a uh, single crochet rows without any decrease So the next uh, uh, 13 following rows are uh, single crochet rows without decrease. So from now all you have to do is just to decrease on the 14th row. One stitch um, from each side. So I will meet you back when I'm done with my 13 rows uh, without any decrease to make the 14 row with decrease uh, from each side so I made 13 rows without any decrease and now we are going to decrease from each side again 
So let's decrease. Insert in the first stitch yarn over and pull through one. Insert in the next stitch yarn over and pull through one. You have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three. Insert and make single crochets until the last two stitches. So I'm left with two stitches and now let's decrease two. And now all you have to do is just to repeat the sequence uh, to decrease from each side uh, into each 14th row and work 13 rows without any decrease until the width of your leg reach a certain point where it's too tight so you have to stop decreasing. And don't forget also to uh, leave the last few inches um, to work uh, with the white yarn. Okay, so I'm back. So I decreased each each 14th row and now let's work with the white yarn. The last few inches. So attach the white, cut uh, the gray, chain one, turn, and let's put one single crochet into each stitch. So all you have to do is just repeat uh, single crochet rows until you reach the desired length for your hand. Respecting the decrease into each 14th row if, you, if it's needed. So I, I worked the last few rows with the white yarn and now we are going to work on the next leg. It works the same as the first one. So grab your gray color and attach to the stitch that it's already uh, wor uh, worked. So chain one. So let's put one single crochet into each stitch. So all you have to do is just to repeat the same process as the first leg, respecting all the decreases and the same number of rows. Okay, so now we are going to work on the back panel of the bottom Alright, for that you have to grab your gray color and to attach to, to the back panel. Okay, uh, any side. You can work on the left or the right. For now, I will work for the left. So let's attach the yarn, chain one, chain one again. And let's put one single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, so this is just a single crochet row until you reach the end of the back panel. Okay, so I'm back. Let's do the second row. So chain one and turn. And it's uh, also a single crochet row. So it's just uh, you have to continue now making single crochet rows until you reach the half of your rise. I made uh, for the rise 34 rows, so now I will make uh, 20, so I will make 17 rows and uh, I will meet you back uh, when I finish. Okay, so I'm back and I made the half of my rise and now and I cut my yarn and fastened off. So now let's work on the right side. So grab your gray color and attach to the side. 
chain one, chain one again, and let's put one single crochet into each stitch. So it's made the, the same. It's made the same as the first part. I uh, repeat the same uh, number of rows. Okay, so I finished my second part. I cut my yarn and fastened off. And now we are going to work on the second part of the rise. So grab your gray color and attach to the side of your work. chain one, chain one again, and now let's put one single crochet into each stitch. Until you reach the end of this row, now after that we will join them together so here i am at the end of my row so let's uh, bring the other side insert the hook in the first stitch let's make a slip stitch so yarn over and pull through this first stitch in the second loop and Put one single crochet in the first stitch also and one single crochet into each stitch across okay so i will do this row and uh, i will do with you the second row also for the second row all you have to do is just to chain one and turn and put one single crochet into each stitch across Okay. and when you reach the middle um, continue making single crochet and you have to repeat this row of single crochet until you reach the leg part so I will do it and I will need you to make the leg okay so I'm done with my uh, rise and now we are going to work on the legs and for the legs part uh, it's made exactly the same as the front panel the same number of rows and even you have uh, uh, at, at the end you have to work with the white yarn and uh, the same uh, decreases everything is the same uh, so go and uh, find your middle of your work and um, and let's work on the first leg and then when you finish the first one work on the second one and when uh, i finish i will meet you back to work on the seam um, of the front panel and the back panel so now flip your work on the wrong side and bring your darning needle and let's connect the back panel to the front panel together. So, just take one loop from each side. So, one loop from the back and one loop from the front. And make a knot. Okay, so you have to work this line, the outside seam, and then the inside, and this line, and this line too. Okay, okay, now I will show you how to make the tail. For this jumpsuit, I will not uh, put this tail, but I just to uh, 
I, I will let you know how to make it in case you want to add it. So let's make our slip knot. and a chain as wide as you want your tail to be okay so I made 30 chains for me so now let's slip stitch to the first chain and make sure that your chain is not flipped or twisted so for round one we are going to work in circular motion so chain one and Put one single crochet into each chain all around. So I'm back. Let's make a slip stitch to the first to the chain one. For round two, chain one and put one single crochet into each stitch all around and when you reach the end also slip, sti slip stitch to the chain one so from here all you have to do is just to keep repeating round two as long as you want your tail to be so now suppose you made enough rows for your tail and you are going to work on the second part the last part so you have to place two stitch markers one on the first stitch and the next on the middle stitch of your work so let's attach the white yarn chain one And then we will decrease two on the first marker okay so insert in the first stitch yarn over and pull through two insert in the next stitch yarn over pull through one you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three Okay, again place the marker on the first stitch and put one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the next marker where you have to decrease to. So I'm on my second marker, let's remove it and make another decrease two. So insert yarn over, pull through one, insert yarn over, pull through one. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Replace the stitch marker on top of that decrease two and continue making one single crochet on top of each stitch. And when you reach the end, slip stitch to the chain one for the second row chain one and remove the marker and just put one single crochet into each stitch okay and replace the marker on top of the first stitch made so this is a round where you don't have to decrease anything So I'm at my second stitch marker. This uh, remember, so 
you don't have to decrease just put one single crochet and put again the marker on top of that stitch and then continue working one stitch into each single crochet at the end just slip stitch slip stitch to the chain one and from here all you have to do is just to keep alternating between these two rounds uh, decreasing uh, round okay decrease two into each uh, stitch marker and a round of um, normal single crochet without any decrease until you don't have any more stitches to work you can make your tail pointy or you can stop at this point and sew both side together and then you take the polyester filling and you insert in the tail Okay, and then you take your jumpsuit and you put your tail underneath the opening part and all you have to do is just to sew it all around. So we are on our final part of this costume. Uh, all you have to do is just to stabilize your zipper with sewing pins on the back panel and then uh, you choose either sew it with a uh, hand or using your sewing machine and um, yeah so i hope you liked the video please don't forget to like the video below and comment to share it so thanks for watching ciao ciao